I'm really glad that we are um, recording today. Yesterday was Kobe's birthday. He would have been 43 years old. It was, uh, of course, his heavenly birthday. Um, Shaq, I, I know you posted. I know you were thinking about your brother, as I'm sure you do every single day. Just your thoughts. Look, legends never die. No. I'll always be remembered. I have a lot of memories that you guys don't have. And you know, one thing I always respect about him was his overwork ethic. I'm the type, I'm looking at who I got, who is my competition. I ain't got to work hard for that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if I'm going up against Akeem and you and I throw in a couple extra arrows, but I'm not working hard for Sabonis with Kobe every day. That was good. That's what made us a very unique combination. You know, people like to, especially with the social media, they like to think they are dwelling on the bad times. But throughout this history, every time you have two alpha males in a group, this is going to happen. There's going to be conflict, and they're going to be the greatest group ever. Shaq and Kobe and the Beatles. Those only two that compare to me and Kobe. I Not love it. Not a lot of you guys, but guess what? Yeah, they had their altercation, and they eventually broke up, but guess what? They're still the top seller. And they're still the most remembered. And we will always be the most remembered. And of course, I'm definitely going to miss them. It just makes you, makes you think about the, re- the realism of the world. Like I just wish I could have said something to them. So it just makes you think about, it. even if you do have beef, just get it settled right away. But what made you all just say, F it? It's time to just heal and be boys. Off the court. We ain't never had no problems. It wasn't no beef. It was just on the court stuff. It's just like, in the office stuff. And I think we both were worried about useless titles. Who's the man? Who's teaming? Like, none of that stuff makes different. But the only thing that saved us is we have respect for each other. When he goes to the lane and four people converge on him, he's looking to drop off to me. And when I get double, I'm looking to drop off to him. And the fact that we were competing with each other made us unstoppable. What really made me stop it, we, we did the All-Star game together. And, like, I wouldn't even go be at the All-Star game, but I was there. I was a reserve. And he just kept dropping it off like a flashback. Boom, boom, boom. And then we both got the uh, MVP. And he looked at my boy, Lil Sharif, and he gave it to him. I was like, this your league. You, you take it. I get a new one. He's like, no, man, this is for my nephew. And he gave it to me. After that, I was like, you know what? All the stuff I did, all the thing I did, I went to my little database. I just hit the league. Gigi. No more. Mm-hmm. No more. No more games. Cause... Y'all about to make me cry. <laughs> but, you know, the respect was all there. And I always tell people, because people always say, oh, y'all would have did that. I said, bro, we hated each other so much. Why after the first championship when the things are coming down, everybody, it's 20,000 people on the floor. Who's the first guy to jump in my arms? A lot of people could have jumped in my arms. For, and he could have jumped in a lot of people. Who was the first guy to jump in my arms? So that should tell you how it was. And people said, if you had it all over to do, how would you change it? I wouldn't change it. Because if we were nice and buddy-buddy and, oh, no, Kobe, you shoot, you shoot, we probably only have one championship. But the fact that we competed with each other and we pushed each other, that's why we're the most, excuse me, the number one Laker little man, big man duo ever created. I said what I said. 